updating your Geo1 to the latest version. Go to www.tastychipselectronics.com to download the latest available firmware for your Geo1. The update screen will show up directly after the loading animation. Follow the instructions and press the encoder knob within 5 seconds to start the update procedure. Never turn off the Geo1 when you are updating the device. Finish the update by removing the USB drive and turning the Geo1 off. The Geo1 will run the new version the next time it's turned on. Multitimbrality The Geo1 firmware 2.0 can operate either monotimbral, which means it plays a single patch, or multitimbral, which means it plays multiple patches at the same time. By default, it runs in monotimbral mode. You can add patches to the mix using Shift plus preset buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. The sample display will automatically be split in four parts, indicating you are now running in multitimbral mode. The new patch can be immediately heard. You can now just switch patches using the preset buttons and control the patch parameters like you're used to. The knobs change the patch parameters of the currently highlighted quote-unquote focused part. The focus part is displayed in a lighter shade of grey. Also in multi-timbral mode you can use multiple voices to create harmonic drones. If you press the button combination shift plus preset again on an active part, this will remove the patch. When only a single patch is left, the display goes back to monotimbral mode, displaying only a single sample. Sample tuning Samples may not always be tuned to the C key. To activate tuning, hold down the escape button for a couple of seconds. The button should then light up and a C-tuned sine wave should be heard. Adjust the tuning to match the pitch of the sine wave. Hold down the escape button again. The tuning sine wave should deactivate. Note that the tuning sine wave replaces the sub oscillator should it be on. Audition mode Hold down shift and play to play back the original sample. The sample will start at the play position. Auxiliary LFO Waveform The fifth LFO waveform is called AUX or Auxiliary. It is a user-defined waveform that can be recorded by using the position slider. By default, the AUX waveform is empty. To record it, press shift plus wave, either one or two. The display will indicate that the recording is on. Then move the position slider in the movement you want.
Press shift plus wave one or two again. The display will indicate that recording is off. Replaying the AUX waveform using the LFOs means you can stretch it out to an hour or compress it to 20 milliseconds. A recorded AUX waveform will be stored inside the patch when it is saved. Scan. The play position of the scan function can respond to voice trigger and note on events in three modes. When scan key sync is off, the scan position will not respond to a voice trigger or note on event and will continue to play from its current position. When scan key sync is on, the scan position will reset to the play position on every voice trigger or note on event. Legato will only reset the play position when a voice trigger or note on event does not overlap with a previous voice. Scan loop confinement. Turn on scan loop confinement to confine the scanning start and end position to the loop area. The start position can easily be placed by holding shift and moving the sides perimeter. The end position can easily be placed by holding shift and moving the curves perimeter. Scan mode. The GR1 scanning movement has three modes. Loop mode will repeat the sample in a forward direction. One shot will scan the sample only once in a forward direction. Ping pong will repeat the sample in a forward and backward direction. Keyboard split. With the keyboard split function, the play position can be distributed over the keyboard in ranges. The keyboard can be divided into a maximum of three ranges. Area 0, Area 1, Area 2. Left of split point 1, right of split point 1, and possibly left of split point 2, right of split point 2. If splits are off, everything is area 0. <laughs> <laughs>